Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at one of the scenario where I'll be receiving emails with zip files and I'll be unzipping and extracting the documents out of that zip file and storing them into SharePoint. So for that, I am going to use Power Automate. So as you can see, I have opened Power Automate home screen and now I'll be creating my instant cloud flow and trigger I'll choose when I'll be inside. So the trigger I would be using is when email arrives. So you can use multiple triggers over here. For example, email arrives in your shared mailbox. If uh, your emails, the zip file emails is coming, is, send, is being sent to your shared email boxes or if uh, directly emails are sending to some specific mailbox, then uh, you can pick. So for testing, I'll be just picking when an email arrives in my mailbox. And in this uh, trigger, I'll be setting that up include attachments because I want that zip file as attachment. And I want to trigger this action just if the attachment is there. So I'm just setting this up. So when, an, when a new email arrives into my mailbox, for example, this one is having one zip file and I'll be storing this zip file into SharePoint and at extract this zip file content to the SharePoint only. So I just go back to my flow and in next step, I'll be using create file action because I would like to first of all, add the zip file, whatever zip file I'm receiving as in part of email attachment to SharePoint and later on then I'll extract that zip file. So I'm just creating file and specifying my uh, site address and folder path. Folder path is document and file name we can choose the attachment name as soon as I choose that attachment name, it binded up that to apply to each because attachments can be multiple. But uh, for our example, we'll be just working with one attachment, zip attachment only and file content attachment content. So we are picking that up from dynamic content. So now whenever file comes, we'll create one attachment over here. So in next step, I would like to extract the properties for this file, which is created. So that's why I am going to use get file property action. And again, using my site address, library name, and ID. So over here, this is the item ID, the file which we created initially in this apply to each. So to have that ID directly, I would not get it any identifier. So if, if I try to uh, type over here ID, so because this create file is binding into this, the scope is just applied to each. That's why we would not get at any dynamic content. So we have to initialize one of the variable at the initial step. So I just initialize. variable and it's a file item ID and I'll just set that up as integer and under apply to each I'll just set this variable just after that create file action so set variable I'll choose that file item ID and now I'll choose I'll get in the dynamic content I'll get the item ID of my discrete file so we are good and now this item id the, the file item id variable which we are using we are setting up in previous step we can use that to get the file properties so i can use it now so now till here we created zip file attach uh, we got a, a zip file attachment we created one file into SharePoint and get the properties of those files. So now in next step, I have to extract so the zip file content. So I'll be directly using extract folder action under SharePoint. 
and I'll again bind that to site address. Okay, so we have this source file path and the destination file path. So this source file path we can get from get file properties. So if you type in dynamic content as path, so two paths we get. So one is folder path and another is full path. So because this source file path, so we can simply choose that full path. So it will give me like that slash shared documents slash uh, if my attachment is docs, then doc.zip. In the destination folder path, I need to use the folder path. So I again type dynamic content and I use folder path. And if I just leave it over here, then my extraction would be directly inside my this document library. So that would uh, be, I mean, like if number of files increases, that would be quite confusing that which attachment is unzipped from this zip file. So I'll just create one subfolder and that subfolder would uh, be by name of that zip file. So I'll just choose name. So now this thing, the destination path, the extracted path will be like it's a subfolder one uh, doc subfolder would be created and all the extracted file will be inside that subfolder. All right, so we have done the extraction folder as well. So now I'll just save this. So now for testing, I'll just uh, create one new message and I'll send that message to myself. And I'll attach the file, the zip file from my computer. And let's say doc zip. Give a test message over here. And I'll just send this message with attachment. And I'll just wait for to trigger. Okay, so my this flow ran successfully. It created that file in SharePoint and got the properties and extracted. So I'll just go to my shared document library. I'll just refresh it. So you can see that I initially my this docs.zip got uploaded and later on this uh, the content which is inside this zip is extracted to my this subfolder and if i click on it i got these two files which used to be zipped in this uh, the initial docs zip folder so we are done we have successfully unzipped the content of the uh, file the attachment which we got as part of email so you can do the same thing for unzipping onedrive content you can do the same thing directly if uh, somebody is uploading document zip file into SharePoint library, you can uh, use that extract folder actions within the SharePoint to SharePoint. So because I got this scenario where one of the shared mailbox used to send the zip files to me, to my inbox. So for, for reading out those files and storing that in SharePoint, so manual stuff was required. So creating this flow did the entire automatic stuff for me. So it's a valid case for me. So it could be a valid case for you. So that's it for today's video. If you like this, please do drop your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.